sag A weighs 20 Newton and geometry is shown. Forces in the cable and weight of sag B. Okay, we need to find the forces in all the cable. So we need to find the force on cable uh, DC, on cable CE, on cable EG, and we need to find uh, the weight uh, B. Sac B, yes, that's Sac B. So these are the unknowns that we need to calculate. Okay, now, interesting. So we start from the point where we've got maximum known and minimum unknowns. So if I ask you concentrate on point on point D, C, E, and G. I want you to concentrate on those four points and tell me which point out of those four has got maximum known and minimum unknown. So E with maximum e. and D with minimum unknowns. So, if I go for D, is there any known in D? There's not any known value at D. Uh, so, I need a point where I've got maximum known and minimum unknown. That's one point. One e. point which has got maximum known and minimum unknown. E. So e. e. So, okay, let's look at E then. So, E according to point E, we, oh, that's because you're telling me that we've got this 20 Newton given. So we've got one known and two unknowns. So our starting point for analysis should be point E. Now, okay, now let's have a look. I'll skip this through. Okay, so free body diagram of point E. Uh, what would be the free body diagram of point E? I will have a force acting downward. I will have a force acting downward. It's a chord. CE is a chord, so definitely there will be force in this direction. EG is also a chord, so definitely it's a pull force. So that would be basically my three forces. So let's look at the free body diagram of point E. So I will draw ring E and then apply all the forces on it and then will not look back to this diagram. Once I draw E, I will not look back to the diagram. So let's look at free body diagram of point E. That's the free body diagram of point E. So that's my 20 Newton. This is my cable force here. And this one is my cable force here. Now angle, if I draw a vertical line here, sorry, if I draw a vertical line here, then this angle is also 45. So I've got my 45 here. And if I draw a vertical line here, then this angle is 30 also. So therefore, I've got that 30 here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. OK. So I've got my angles. Now I'm not going to look at this diagram. I'll just concentrate on this one. That the one that's the one I will look at. Because once I draw the free body diagram, I do not look back. Okay, so I now do sum of all the forces along X and sum of all the forces along Y. So let's look at sum of all the forces along X. So I will have a component X here for this one, and I will have a component X here for this one. This component, uh, or I can draw it here also. It's the same thing. So this component is positive, so therefore I've got positive. Remember, if I take this one, I can take this angle 30, 60. So the answer would be the same, OK? And for this component, I have got negative sign. 
because it's in the negative direction. So I've got my two forces along x. Uh, this component doesn't have any component along x axis. So now let's look at some of all the forces along y. So I would have uh, this component and another component here. So I've got this component acting downward, therefore I've got a negative sign here. I've got this component downward and another negative sign here, while this component is upward and it's positive. So sum of all the forces along x, sum of all the forces along y, two equations, and how many unknowns I've got? I have got uh, two oh, unknowns. Wow. And therefore, I get my answers out. So I now know that uh, the tension in EC is, I'd go back, I've, I've done my calculations. So now I look at the main diagram. So EC, where is EC? EC here, that is 38.6 Newton. And EG, that is this force here, is 54.6 Newton. So now I know all the forces at point E. So I've done, I've calculated the two cable forces. Now I have to go to point C or point D. So let us see compare point C and D, which one has got more known and less unknown? C or D? C point. C? C point. So remember, if there's any point where you've got, there's no known value given, there's no use to start from there. You are going to create a lot of equations. You will get the right answer later, but it will be a bit difficult. It's a long, long way, a long track to take. So is the C. So let us look at, now in C, we do not know this force, we do not know this force, but we know this force, which is the same as this one. So let's look at a free body diagram of C. So there are three forces acting. That's the weight acting downward. This is the cable force here. And this is the force that we've already calculated as here. Remember, I'm looking at C, and there's a chord, so chord is always in pull. And also, according to uh, the reaction force principle, uh, force acting uh, downward here is the same as force acting upward for the other point. Okay, so, uh, so, that's our three point diagram. So, equation of equilibrium we apply on C. Where you have to look relatively very simple. I've got this component here for this one, and this component here for this one. This one is negative. So, I've got the two components. So, that's sum of all force along x. Now, if I look at y, so for y, I've got this component. I've got this component acting upward and another component acting down uh, upward. So WB will be negative. That's here, many two are positive. So I've got two equations and I have got two unknowns. I solve them and get my value out. Now, there's no need to do analysis on point D because I already know the tension CD. And I know the sac B now. Do I have all my knowns, uh, unknowns calculated? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any question? Okay, so let's let's move on now. 